The other words you can see there are not going to be as good, but that's okay. I actually have used some of those specific words and had some success with them. So don't just try. Just because it says so here, don't uh, let that stop you from using the words. Try them out yourself and see what you get. So here we have your ad is up, or not up, it's not running, it's just showing you what it's going to look like, and you can edit your keywords, um, you can you know, ask for extra help, um, you can ask for you know, getting things sent to you, for ideas and so forth. And this is where you're going to input your email address, so that's why I mentioned that you Gmail and uh, subscribe or sign up for your email there. So I'm just going to log in with... Uh, the email that I just created for this video. Continue. And now it should take me to the uh, main page here. Okay, congratulations, you've successfully created your AdWords account, and I'm going to sign in. And there we go. So we're in now. We have our, our Google, uh, our AdWords account set up. And you can see there's no activity yet because we haven't done anything. So your, your, your ad is not going to be live until you actually pay money. So... Uh, don't worry about you know having created the ad and so forth. You're not gonna nothing's gonna happen. So campaign one, um, you really want to rename that to something that uh, you'll be able to track a little bit better. So edit settings and then change the name. I guess we'll call it uh, ACN uh, business and then we will save the changes okay so let me get back out of here and go back into the to the main, main campaign just give me a second okay here we go, back into the campaign summary. So, um, there, now you can see the campaign name. Okay, now within that campaign, you're going to have uh, specific ad groups, and those are where you're going to set up uh, the different keywords that you're going to use. So, here you can see there's nothing there no cost per click, no cost, no positions, uh, nothing yet, because we've not yet made our ad live. Um, but so you can see today and you can choose any day you can choose week uh, you really have a lot of options there so um, we're gonna go and look inside of the ad group here in a second to look and see what um, what keywords are going to be uh, the best. Now we've already chosen some, but as you as you continue, let's rename it first here. Um, so let's call it ACN. Make it simple. It's always good to just you know separate your ad groups and you know have names and so forth so that you can see uh, what your you can keep track of everything much better that way. So we're going to go into that ad group. And there you can see the ad. And now we're going to go to um, the summary. Basically, shows you, you know, your clicks per day, your impressions, your click-through rate. And the keywords are going to show you what your keywords are, and you can make adjustments on those. Ad variations. What ad variations is is it allows you to test out your ads, and you can you can make a variation on that one ad that we've got there, and then you can test out based on the results what is performing better so which ad has more clicks which has been getting more uh, impressions and the click through rate click through rate right there is the amount of times that somebody clicked on your ad compared to how many times it was shown so the impressions and the clicks give you a ratio and that's your click through rate 
um, you want to have about a 2% click-through rate. That's, that would be good, 2%. Or just on, and a little bit under there is okay, but anything in and around 2 and over is really good. So now we're going to create a variation on this ad. And we're just going to change the headline. Many times all you have to do is change the headline in an ad, and you'll see that it gets a lot higher click-through rate. So for you know one little word change, we'll keep the other two lines the same. So that would be a way to... Uh, to do a little test and see which perform, performs better. Now you can see that they're both there and you'll see over time, you know, day or two, which ad is performing better. You'll see, you know, what the click-through rate percentages are one versus the other and that'll give you a good indication of what um, is working better. And once you find one that's working better, get rid of the other one and tweak it until you find one that's working better than the first one that was working better and you just keep going back and forth that way you're always improving your your ad so it's um and it's a really important thing to do is to do split tests a lot of people skip this step and never really improve on their results because they're not tweaking a lot of this game here this marketing game are the small things uh, can make a big difference between huge success and failure. Failure. Just these small little uh, details and testing small little things can be the difference between um, someone who's making six figures a year and someone who quits the business after six months because they didn't have any success. So that's what I'm hoping that you'll get from uh, from these. So. Um, What I'm doing now is showing you how to test what ads work. So just go to Google and type in whatever it is that you're testing, whatever keywords you're testing. So for instance, you know, we're using ACN. So typing in ACN and see what pops up. Now you can look at the top here and see what ads there are. Top one's jewelry, so that doesn't count, right? Why I left ACN. Um, which uh, actually uh, somebody copied that headline for me, believe it or not. And um, the, the next one underneath there is mine. Don't sign with ACN before. So as you can see, that's my ad and it's in third position. You could say second position because the top one is a jewelry, so it doesn't really, you know. So when somebody types in ACN, they see my ad right on the top. And that ad actually has a, a very good click-through rate. It's a over over two almost three percent some days and you want to have the keywords that you're using appear within the ad that's gonna bring your ad up higher um, and gonna allow you to have a higher ranking but you can just go through see the other ads see what people are doing and you can I don't want to say plagiarize and copy them word for word but definitely you can get I ideas uh, from what other people are doing and use some of those ideas that's how all marketing works you find out what works and you make improvements upon it you test it and you test it again and you make more um, improvements so this is a really great way to test any keywords or you know words that you're you're searching to to do um, ads for all you do is just put the the um, keyword that you're you're wanting to um, place your ad around in Google do a search see what ads pop up see which ones catch your eye and that's it you can do it for anything so let's MLM let's check MLM boom go to the top here that's the top one so those top ads are performing very well that's how they got to the top so the people at the top here are having success with these ads and um, they're using these ads to build their businesses so learn from learn from the ads that are successful and you'll be successful okay um, so I hope that little bit of uh, information was uh, helpful for you um, let's see what else can I tell you you know this this whole this whole marketing thing is, is just sort of you know learning what touches people's buy buttons you know and by by looking and seeing what's successful already, um, you can you can do that, and 
that's really the key to all this stuff. So, so I guess uh, that's it. I hope this was helpful, and um, the next video will be coming up soon, where I'll be showing you how.